Hi, so in this video I will be explaining the technique of walking meditation. Walking meditation has many of the same benefits of sitting meditation. So in the same way as when we do the sitting meditation we're going to try to keep the mind in the present moment and aware of the phenomena as they arise. To try to create a clear awareness of the reality around us. But the question comes, why then do we have to switch to walking meditation? Why is it not enough that we sit still and do sitting meditation? This is because walking meditation has several benefits which are not found in the sitting meditation. First of all, we're able to then uh, walk long distances. We find that nowadays we are, because we sit so much, we're sitting in cars or we're sitting in an office or we're sitting in school or so on, we find that we're unable to undertake long journeys in, uh, on foot. Whereas in, old, in ancient times we would be, have been able to walk 20 or 30 kilometers a day even. Nowadays we find that even a walk to the store is too much of a hassle. The second benefit from walking meditation is that it gives us patience and it gives us endurance. Because it is something which is done very slowly and it is very repetitious, we find that it tests our patience. And if we are practicing it on a daily basis, it can lift our patience and our endurance in any kind of work or activity that we have to do, which is perhaps uh, unpleasant. Even though it's something that we know we have to do, we might not wish to do it. Once we practice walking meditation, we can overcome this. The third is that it helps to overcome sicknesses which exist in the body. If we have any sort of uh, sickness, um, a disease, or even, even diseases which are otherwise uncurable. Sometimes people through the practice of meditation have cured cancer, uh, have overcome many kinds of sicknesses in the body simply through the practice of meditation. Because at the moment of walking meditation, both your mind is very focused and your body is very calm. So just with other martial arts or other uh, methods of uh, healing using the mind, walking meditation is something which as a byproduct can help to heal the body. The fourth benefit is the effect that it has on the digestive system. So when we sit around all the time, when we're not doing anything with the body, we find that Sometimes our body's ability to digest the food which we've eaten can be limited. When we do the walking meditation, especially because it's slow and repetitious, the body is given a chance to uh, work through the food which we have eaten and digest it for the best benefit for our body. The fifth benefit, which is most important in the meditation practice, and the reason why we do the walking before we do the sitting, is that the concentration which comes from walking, because it's uh, dynamic, that it lasts into the sitting meditation. It lasts for a long time. We can find that if we just do sitting meditation, once we finish, our concentration dissipates very quickly. When we practice walking meditation, this is otherwise, and it continues on into the sitting meditation. So the concentration has much more strength, and when we begin to do the sitting meditation after the walking, we find that we're already ready we're already able to focus the mind very quickly on the, the phenomena as they arise. So these are the reasons, some of the reasons anyway, why we practice walking meditation as well as sitting meditation. And now I'd like to give a demonstration on how exactly we do the walking meditation. Walking meditation is performed with the feet close together, the hands, right hand holding the left hand, either in front or in behind. The eyes are open and you're looking at the floor in front of you about two meters out. And you're going to walk in a line. You can walk about four, three or four meters with your eyes looking at the floor in front, the ground in front of you about two meters or six feet out. You start with the right foot and you move it one foot length with the heel just to be in line with the toes of the back foot. And then the same with the left foot. One foot length each time. As you do this, you say to yourself, as we have been from the beginning of this series, 
you make a note of the motion as it occurs. So here we say to ourselves, step being right, step being left, step being right, and so on. Making the, the acknowledgement or the note, making the noting at the moment of the movement. Step being left, step being right, step being left, step being right, step being left, step being right, step being left, and on until you reach the end of the walking path. Once you come to the end, we have to turn around, we're going to walk in the other direction. The method of turning around is to bring the back foot up to stand next to the front foot. As you do this, you say to yourself, stopping, 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 just coming aware of the fact that you're stopping. Once you're standing still, say to yourself, standing, standing, standing. And when you go to turn around, the method of turning is to lift the right foot off the floor and turn it 90 degrees, saying to yourself, one time, turning. And then the left foot, the same, turning. And one more time, turning, turning. And then you're facing the other direction. When you're standing in the other direction, you start all over, say to yourself, standing, 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 and then step being right, step being left, step being right, step being left. And the most important part is that you're making the acknowledgement as the foot moves. So if you say to yourself, step being right, and then move, or you move first and then say step being right. This is incorrect because you're not really aware of the action as it occurs. To make a correct acknowledgement and to bring about the clarity of mind which we're hoping for, you have to bring the f move the foot as you make the acknowledgement. Step being right, step being left. And as you're walking, if something comes into your mind, say a thought or so on, or a feeling, or some emotion arises, during that time, instead of continuing to walk and letting your mind get distracted, bring your back foot up and actually stop in the middle of your walking steps. Say to yourself, stopping, 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 and then become aware of the thought or aware of the emotion and say to yourself, thinking, 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 or angry, or sad, or bored, or happy, if you feel pain, say pain, and so on. And once it goes away, then continue on your walking. Step being right, step being left, step being right, step being left, and so on. And the technique is to walk back and forth, making the acknowledgement in your mind. So you come to the end and then bring the foot up again, stopping, 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 standing, 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 turning, 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 and then standing, 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 and so on. To go back and forth for, say, ten minutes. And here we try to balance the walking meditation with the sitting meditation. So if suppose you were to do 10 minutes of walking meditation, then we would also expect that you would do 10 minutes of sitting meditation. If you do 15 minutes of walking meditation, then also do 15 minutes of sitting meditation, and so on. This concludes the demonstration of how to practice walking meditation. And thank you for tuning in. I wish you all the best.